propositional revelation. That is, that, that we believe that the truth can be put down with a subject and a verb, a predicate. Something can be said about the subject. And that this verbal statement is eternal truth. This is what it means to be the Bible, is the Word of God. That where we have poetry, we have poetry. And where we have figure of speech, we have figure of speech. But where we have a statement, a flat-out statement, all men have sinned. That's not a figure of speech. That's a statement of fact. It has a subject and a predicate. It has what's being talked about, what's being said about it. All, all men have sinned. That's the action. And we have propositional revelation. Absolutely true. And we'll stand up under the pressures of syllogisms and any other diagnosis you want to make of it. Now this is, this is where the authority of Scripture comes in. Now we trust that you've taken your notes and you're now ready to take our TV Bible exam, which is coming right up. What was the roof area supported by columns near the temple called? Solomon's porch. What did Jesus say about selling sheep and oxen and doves and changing money in the temple? shall not make my father's house a house of trade. When Jesus said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up, what did he mean? said unto Nicodemus, Marvel not, that I said unto you, you must be Marvel not, that I said unto thee, ye must be born again.
the wind. The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know whence it comes or whither it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. are stated in correct grammatical form, true or false. The answer true. And our professor, Dr. Ward Williams, goes on to say, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And there are those who think of Jesus as a great judge, which he will be someday. But before he becomes judge, he has first shown his love. He is not a judge who shows love, he is a lover who judges. And that makes a difference. In verse 19, we have a basis of the judgment. Would you read um, that in verse 20 also? And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. But everyone who does evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. One of the most common um, popular expressions I run across in dealing with people is the statement, a loving God would never send anybody to hell, would never allow anybody to be lost. It's an argument for universalism that everyone shall be saved. And um, some even have what they call the... Um, um, the greater hope, the larger hope, that even in the end, Satan himself shall be restored. This is just a little bit far out. The statement here is given, the basis of judgment is given, the reaction of the person. Light has come, and light's been rejected. A very simple illustration can be used, uh, assuming for the moment that we get a particular breed of bats that will not eat moths. I understand they sometimes live on them, so we're perhaps um, imagining something unreal here, but let's assume that we have both moths and bats, and the one will not eat the other. We have a room which is darkened, not black, but just darkened, dusky. And the moths and the bats fly indiscriminately around the room. If I say to someone, I will give you $10 if you can separate the moths from the bats in five minutes. Why, you say to me, there are, there are hundreds of moths and dozens of bats. How can I separate in five minutes? Very, very simple. Turn a light on in one corner of the room. The moths will go for the light and the bats will go for the darkness. You don't have to separate them. They separate themselves. This is the condemnation that Jesus has come into the world and those who responded were his and those who did not respond were not his and they made that decision. The moths come to the light and the bats flee it. Again, I read to you, this is the condemnation that light